just telling you, it's been a circus trying to sort what's true and what's not out of my daughter's mouth the last couple of weeks. And for something like that, it, I think it really comes down to what she perceives is a circus, a circus. Can you spell your first name for me? Sure. Z A C H. Yep. A R I A H. All right. And the middle initial? Jack Ryan. Go by Zach or Zach Ryan. Okay. And your last name, sir? Anderson. A N D E R S O N. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I'm, I might be moving soon, but I, I don't know yet. Just depends. All right. All right, Zach. Um, currently, you are in custody. Um, as you're aware, um, we're conducting an investigation. Prior to that, I was talking to you. I want to read to you your, your waiver of constitutional rights. All right. Okay. Um, it basically states that you, Zachariah Anderson, have been advised of your rights by myself, Detective Creel, the Kenosha Police Department. Sure, sure. Do you understand the rights that I currently have read to you? Yeah, we okay. So we're investigating a case of stalking, um, involving okay. your children's mother. Sadie. Sure. All right. So that's what we want to talk to you about. Okay. Um, can you kind of tell me what's going on with, like, what's up with your guys' relationship? What's been happening, going on? Uh, well, so we were together for like 12 years. Um, and about six months ago, she flipped her script pretty hard and went from being, you know, primary caretaker of our kids to, uh, um, bar fly, you know, and so she, to my account, has picked up about four boyfriends. She had made comments to that effect to our daughter, you know, and she's been chasing on with whatever guys, to my understanding, will buy her some blow, and uh, that's how she's been spending her time. They reopened the bars in Wisconsin last, you know, last week, Friday yeah. or whatever. My kids were at the bar two days in a row, you know. So um, I submitted for custody of the kids on the 8th, you know, retained an attorney and submitted for custody of the kids on the 8th. May 8th? Yeah, yeah, or, yeah, May 8th. And then she encountered that and filed on the 13th or whatever. And she set a list of accusations about me stalking her and otherwise. And I have gone to check some information on her. And I, I have looked to verify some things like whether or not she's going to the bar and that kind of thing. Um, but really just for the purpose of the custody of help, because, you know, because it's just going to be a mess. And um, what I can tell you is to my understanding, uh, she, like around Christmas time, so we have twin boys that were born on Christmas Eve, you know, yeah. and uh, it's supposed to be my day with the kids, my Christmas with the kids. And this and, previous one? Yeah, yeah. And uh, I went over there and our daughter wasn't there. And I said, all right, you know, like we went and picked up a Christmas tree and we went to have um, uh, set up the Christmas tree at her house because she has primary placement of the kids, you know. And so put it all together and that kind of stuff. I came over in the morning. All the kids were supposed to be there. Our daughter's not there. And uh, I'm like, Maybe about 1130, you know, like asking her, are you going to go get, you know, this is supposed to be my Christmas. Like the boys want to open their presents, it's, you know, almost the afternoon holiday or whatever. <clears throat> and uh, she gets all shitty with me, you know, shut your bitch mouth and stuff. And I'm like, what the fuck? You know, like I'm supposed to have the day with the kids. This is our Christmas, right? Like you get the kids tomorrow for Christmas day itself. But, you know, what are you shitting on the day for or whatever? And uh, she tries to hit me with the broom in the face, just spins around, tries to clobber me with the broom in the face and turns to this big old exchange between her and I. She shoves me into the door like four times and I scream and runs outside, calls the cops. Cops show up, they arrest me. And I'm like, what the fuck are you arresting me for? She put her hands on me. I mean, I've made fun of her or whatever, but talk some shit, hollered back and forth, but I didn't do anything to her. So they haul me away, you know, I'm like, all right. Uh, what agency was that? Germantown. Okay. So go see the DA, tell the DA, hey, this is what happened, you know, whatever. It's not the first or second occurrence. Long story short, happens again. She does the same thing. Cop, cops show up and I tell the cops, I put my hands on her. They arrest me again and haul me away. And I'm just like, it's fucking ridiculous, you know, just because she said whatever she said. She said I'd push her at one point at the front door. I'm like, no, she turned around, ran into her own fucking Christmas decorations and tripped her damn self and spilled her shit. I didn't touch her. I didn't step forward. I didn't do shit. I just stood there and watched her make a mess of herself. 
and that's been kind of the thing. It's like no matter what happens, no matter what goes on, she's she accuses me. Even today, as an example, or last night, if you guys get my cell phone, I'll show you how ludicrous it is. She accused me of hacking her phone, her text messages, and her emails. And I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? And she's like, uh, uh, you know things that people shouldn't, which just my lingering suspicion is that she's doing blow. I don't know for sure. I haven't been able to verify that, but just on her behavior and, you know, I mean, I've known her for 12 years and it's a hardship. So huge difference. So anyway, so, um, she makes a bunch of accusations and she says, um, well, you know, you know how to program or something. You know how to hack my phone. I said, I don't even know any programming languages. I just worked for the phone company for a decade. That doesn't mean I know how to hack people's phones. Like, you don't understand what I did there, maybe, but it had nothing to do with that. You know, like, it's just crazy. But she's like, well, you know, people. I'm like, <laughs> I, nobody I'm asking, I'm going to ask to jeopardize their job over this bullshit. Like, what are you talking about? So she just got some acute paranoia over shit that I can't make sense of, you know? And so I, I don't know. I don't know what to do with that. Um, but as far as stalking is concerned, no, we both see other people. I specifically, when I was arrested tonight, you know, had a girl over and I was spending time with a different girl. So I think maybe she is a little mixed up in, you know, what she thinks or feels about me and that's fine. But really at the end of the day, whoever's getting her eye is more important. So I don't think, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think it's like that at all. So what accusations, what else has she been throwing out besides hacking her phone? Well, that's the latest one. Um, but uh, go, I, I guess over the last three months or so. Uh, most of the accusations came like in the last month, really. Um, but uh, she said that I was sitting out following her. Um, uh, the... I went to scoop the boys out of the, I was cleaning my van. I had my cell phone in my pocket and I was listening to music and she pulled in with the kids and I went to pull my kid, pull the boys out of the car seats or whatever and give them a hug. And there were boys sweatshirts were down in the middle of the seats or whatever. And I leaned in there and either I picked them up, my, my son, you know, when I picked him up, he likes to turn the light on by shaking the phone, took it out of my pocket. Or when I leaned forward, I dropped the phone in her car or something like that. But I picked up the sweatshirts and I took the sweatshirts and I couldn't find the phone. And my daughter will tell you, I searched for the phone for like three days. I had to call the carrier to figure out what happened to the phone. And she said, well, you were stalking me. You were tracking me. You put the phone in there on purpose. And I said, no, the fuck I didn't. No, the fuck I didn't. It fell out of my pocket. It felt like the shirt that I was wearing, the pocket's not that deep. It fell out before. It must have fallen out when I leaned in to get the kid sweatshirt or make no, I don't know. I didn't see because I was trying to reach the sweatshirts in the first place. So no, the fuck I didn't. I called the carrier. Don't make the accusation. Um, but inevitably, the way she sees it is, is I'm stalking her. And I said, you know, honestly, I know you're going out with other dudes. You brag about you didn't brag about one guy. You brag about four. You know, like, <laughs> go. What the fuck? Um, truth is, I cheated on her some long time ago. She's never it poisoned the relationship. You know, she never got over it. And uh you know, she's moved on her own way. She started hanging out with a friend of hers from high school, and I think, uh, you know, maybe got put in, drug in a bad situation, all pun intended, I guess, drug into a bad situation. And, you know, that's her choice. I can't right. stop her from it. I mean, I love her. She's the mother of my kids, but, you know, it's, uh, I don't know. I'm no man to stop, stop a train wreck, I guess. Um, Well, so we spoke with her. She she's making a few other accusations against you. Okay. Um, it was night last month, um, early morning hours, and you showed up at her house. Ha! I went and bought a new couch. She told me I could come back and pick up the stuff out of the garage just to let her know, and I let her know, and then she got all shitty. We had a good conversation, and yeah, there were some tears or whatever, but that's it. Not because. What time was this at? What, what about what oh, day late, sh late as shit, midnight, one o'clock, shit, maybe even later. When I got done moving the couch in, I had to go all the way out to walk shot to pick it up. So, who had the kids at that, that night? She had the kids in there. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, I was sure. Did you pick up the couch at one in the morning? No, no, no. I picked up the couch at like 10 at night or something like that. 
Oh, yeah, like could be a Craigslist or something or from a place? Yeah, Craigslist. And then I, I took it back to my place and then I was waiting on my cousin to come help me load it into my house because I couldn't, can't carry a couch by myself. The guy sold it to me, whatever. And I told her, well, maybe I'll just swing back by tonight and pick it up and bring our daughter her skateboard or whatever. And I did. And I just, you know, knocked on the door and I said, hey, you know, this is what's going on. And it wasn't, uh, I don't know. I mean, it was pretty straightforward. I told her it was going to be late as shit. And she was like, well, that's fine. I said, maybe tomorrow. I don't know if I'm up, I'll do it. You know, if not, you know, whatever. Anybody in your house that night? Not that I know. Nobody? Maybe kids. I would assume, I guess. This is a crime circus presentation. Was there another night that you went over there when you had the kids? Yeah. Okay. Tell me about that night. Uh, there was another vehicle in the driveway. She was, uh, Claiming that she wasn't seeing anybody and she just needed some space for us to get back together. Our daughter had gone through her cell phone and got a bunch of messages. Um, Tell me about those. We'll go step by step here, man. Uh, all the messages my daughter read through. I don't know exactly because our daughter likes to fabricate some information. But in short, mom seeing somebody else. Telling telling him that she loves him and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. I was saying, you know, you're uh, um, uh, cut, cutting me along, pushing me along, you know. Trying to tell me like we have a future, or that, like things are not things are a possibility, but you just want some space. You're upset after our last argument or whatever, and it's not true, you know. And so uh, she kept insisting, "Oh, that's you know, that's not the case or whatever." I love you, all this kind of shit. And so I did go over there, you know, and found out that she was seeing somebody else. And okay, you know, what were the kids? Oh, uh, with me. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the men of the car took them with me. Okay. How did you How did you know there was someone else there? Oh, uh, premonition of a weird feeling when I talked to her. You know, is this something you've done before? No, I just that was the impression that I got. That's what, something else. What gave you that? Just the way she talked, the way she behaved. You know, you know, real eager to get home. You know, like something else was going on. If I remember right, it was like she didn't have time to. Oh, was that a different night? How old are your kids, man? The twin boys were four. And you had her daughter? Twelve, no. What time was this? I, I don't know, nine at night, ten at night. I, I don't know mm -hmm. the exact time. So you, you loaded your four-year-olds up? Well, uh, a premonition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew something funny was going on. And I guess why would it matter? For me, it gives me a definitive answer whether she's lying or not, you know. I mean, this was, I don't know, I don't know a week ago now. Did she bet you over? She has, yeah. Did she that night? No. Okay. Have you ever done this before? Went over? Out of premonitions? No. And what if I told you that um, I have reason to believe that the four year old went with you that night? I don't know. Why would you have reason to believe they weren't with me? Because we spoke with <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, one good, but two of them, she said that they were there. That's goofy. I don't know. She really doesn't have a reason to lie to us. Says you. I mean, I kind of know my daughter, and she doesn't have a reason to lie about a lot of shit. I mean, she just did a whole. Well, I'll tell you this. But most of the conversation that we had with her, sure. she chose your side. Right. Most of it. Okay. Okay. And I think she was being honest with me or she wouldn't have chose your side. She would have made you look like the bad dude the whole time, but she didn't. She didn't. She she made you sound like a good dad. Yeah. And uh really had nothing negative to say for the most part. Yeah. Um, which led me to believe that she's telling me the truth. She doesn't have a reason to lie to me, you know what I mean? No, I don't know what you mean. And I'll give you some examples, okay? So mm -hmm. um so she just got in trouble. It was a big thing, she just got in trouble for um you know, shit, the other Monday, I stopped over um, by Sadie's house a couple of weeks ago now. And uh, I'm talking to her, and Sadie comes storming out. Now, most of what she said, you could confirm. Most of what you, she said, you could verify. But for whatever reason, she tries to lie a little bit to make things look a certain way. And it's not true. So I hear you. And I, like a lot of it's very credible. And it's tough for me as a dad to try and figure out. But there are some things that it's just like, why wouldn't you... Why wouldn't you just tell the truth about that? I'll give you another one. The last two times she's gone over to my dad's house, she keeps stealing my little sister's cell phone. Mm -hmm. they, yeah, they can track it. 
You know, like they look at where it goes. Why are you taking it? It doesn't matter. No, well, but I didn't. And oh, she tells a lot of truth and then some lies when she wants to try and curtail. You know, she got punished for that one, right? Mm-hmm. What was the punishment? Spain. Anything else? You guys take anything away? Well, the cell phone. Which one? <laughs> Good one question. She took or? Well, that got returned to my sister. So, okay. of course, that one. Um, and then as far as Pearl, when was that? Did she have her cell phone then? I think she had her cell phone. Her mom got her a phone for her birthday. Mm-hmm. And so her, her phone. 25th, right? Yeah, yeah. So her phone got taken away. Right. Okay. Speaking of her birthday, let's get, let's talk about that day. Sure. Okay. Um, I got the kids that morning. Mm-hmm. We go up and down the trail. Skateboard. We go up and down the trail. Practice riding the skateboard. Or Sadie was there for that. Yeah, she stopped by. My brother was there. My sister was there. You know. Um, Good day. Yeah, it was a little overcast, you know, which was a little bit more sunshine, but it was by and large a good day. And then uh, Sadie invited us all back to open presents at her house, so we all went over there and uh, ordered food. And then they screwed up the food order, so we had like double order of food, big buffet. Um, but generally speaking, a pretty good day. Any conversations with Sadie? Could you me? Oh yeah, privately. Uh, yeah, we we had some words because um, my mom's been very promiscuous, and I have a lot of half siblings, right? Mm-hmm. And one of my my sister had made a comment about mom being a whore or a slut or I mean sleazy or something like that or whatever. And I'm like, damn, don't say that. Mom's standing right there. And uh Sadie got all pissed at me. So we did have a conversation then um, because she took offense to it, joking that it was her that that you know my sister was talking about. But my sister doesn't you know my sister didn't have any information on Sadie. So okay. where did kids stay that night? Uh, with Sadie. Because it was me the night before. Okay. The night before that. Was the night before that, the night all this went down where you went over and saw the man? The dude? No, I don't believe so. I don't recollect what day that was. I guess you got Sadie. I did. Yeah. I did. That's what I'm asking. Okay. Sorry. The whole incident involving the guy. Yeah, I don't I don't remember that that was the night. I don't think so, but I don't remember exactly. Okay. Well, like I said, I have no reason to doubt what he was telling me. Okay. Um I mean I do just got a long track record as a German town police, but I mean she she described some pretty great detail on what happened that night at the house. Yeah. As far as looking through the windows and, and all that. And she she's claiming she got drug along. Um, yeah. Sure. Why, I mean, why would she tell me that if, at, right after saying that you're a great dad and all that? I don't know what she perceived she could get in trouble for or, you know, so I don't know. Did you look through the window of the house and see someone in there? Yeah, yeah, the windows were open. I could look through the windows and see. You know, there's no blinds covering the back door or anything like that. Do you take pictures? No. Do you take video? No. Nope. Take all your recording? No. Nothing. No. So you had the same bullshit accusations? No, I did. What did you hear? Nothing. I heard that. I mean, saw them laughing, saw them, you know, doing their thing or whatever the hell. And okay. They had the music on and they're doing whatever they do. Okay. At any point, did you have in the window? Yeah. Initially, when you first got there, with you? I don't remember initially. What I know is at some point I was like, oh no, go back to the car. Okay. Did you place any cell phones anywhere? Nope. I mean, this is something she told me, and then uh, this is something that a 13 year old girl is not going to come up with on her own to get her dad in trouble. I didn't place any cell phones anywhere. What happened originally was, say he was slapped in the face to discipline her when she was yelling at her. When was this? Like a what is this? Ago, and recorded it on her school laptop. She came to me and she told me, and I said, hey, mom, no, wouldn't she slapping you? She said, yeah, dad, she slaps me and she yells at me. I said, no, that's not like her at all. You know, like, it's really not her character. But it recorded it. 
I'll give you the fucking recording. So she hits, starts the recording. Mom's screaming at her, going, okay, okay. Um, and she swings at her again and she hits the laptop itself. Um, and she, that to me, I don't know how many weeks ago, I'd have to look at the video, you know, or whatever. And at that point, I told her, nobody's going to believe me. Nobody's going to believe me. Mom tells the cops a story. They arrest me. Mom tells the cops a story. They arrest me. Nobody's going to believe me if I say, hey, mom's the violent one. She's the one losing her shit. And she's the one hitting the kids. But it, it doesn't stop there. And like, um, oh, she stands the boys up against the wall and hits them on their arms and legs. So um, so it looks like they're fighting. And uh, at night when it's cold out, she takes the blanket away because they're playing, you know, using the blankets and playing and all. And, uh, and stuff like that. And then she calls me and she's got the boys in the background. Owie, 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 getting hit by mom. And I'm like, the fuck is going on? You know, the boys misbehave. They're four, three, four. I stand them up against the wall, give them a few minutes to think about it, you know? I mean, flick them in the head or something like that. But nothing, I'm not hitting them. I'm not taking the blankets away at night. If I put my kids to bed, I'm just laying down. What does this whole thing have to do with putting a cell phone somewhere that night? So what happens is, one of my old phones so she can record what's going on so I have some evidence and then we have so yes there are cell phones but I didn't put a cell phone anywhere for that purpose I gave it to my daughter to record when she is being abused or when the boys are being abused okay but again I didn't put a cell phone anywhere yeah, that, that's my question and you're dancing around no I'm just saying it's, it's a yes or no it's, it's got nothing I put a cell phone in my daughter's hands if that's what you're getting at but I did not put a cell phone Where in her happen? car where? Mm-hmm. At my house? I'm talking about that night and at the house where you peek through the window. No, 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 no. I didn't give her a phone or have her record anything or anything along those fucking lines, man. No cell phone was put anywhere? Whether it recorded something or no, not? No, dude, no. I told you, no. Her paranoia, her fear, whatever, that's on her. Whatever she told you or thought, she said the same bullshit to me. And I told her repeatedly, I did not record you. Uh-huh. And again, man, I have a, a young girl who loves her dad. Yeah. Telling me things, crying, that are 100% true. Believe me, they're 100% true when I'm talking to her. Yeah, and she told school she had leukemia for two weeks. I mean, most of it's true, but then some things aren't. I did have a cell phone. Dude, this, I did is, have stuff a that's, this is craziness for her to make this up and come up with it like that. I, I got a daughter the same age, man. I hear you, but... They lie, and you know what? When they lie, I know they're lying. Right. Right? So I'm saying I did have a cell phone because you could turn the light on and see where the fuck you're walking, but I didn't record anybody. So you had the cell phone out? Yeah, I had a cell phone with me. I don't know that I had it out, but I did have a cell phone with me. Right? Well, I don't know if I, re- I don't remember how dark it was or if I pulled the cell phone out that night. So I would assume so, but. Well, what's the cell phone number on that phone? I don't know what offhand. Is it your phone? Is it your phone? Yeah. It's not my regular phone. No. Oh, you got another one? Yeah, yeah. But you don't know the number of that one? Not off hand. Where is it? Probably in my possessions. Do you have both of them on you? Yeah. So there's not going to be any pictures or anything like that in there? Of- Fucking look, you guys. Come on. I keep telling you. <laughs> You're killing me here, you know? Is there a passcode or anything on them? No. Yeah. All right. No, like I said, I, I gave one of my daughters so she could record mom hitting the boys, mom hitting her, you know, that kind of stuff. I have some recordings of those exchanges for that interest. I know that pisses Sadie off because she caught me to record her, you know, um, and it'd be fairly going through her phone and all sorts of shit. And there's been tremendous complaints about violation of privacy by Sadie. But, you know, ultimately, stalking, look, I verified whatever two-faced bullshit she was shoveling me about, you know, we're going to get Becky. I just need some space. I'm still mad at you, all that, or whatever. Now you're seeing somebody else. And then once I called her out about that. Who was it? Huh? Who was it? I don't know, some Mexican guy. No. I mean, to understand, you know, I looked up his information or whatever, uh, best I could figure out. But what's his name? Um, uh, Jimmy showed his Facebook, and his name is Junior. I don't remember the spelling on the last name, but I remember it started with a G. Who showed it? Gina? Jeannie, her grandmother, Sadie's dad's wife, showed you know, what Sadie was talking about, bragging about he's a he's a contractor, he's got two kids, and Jeannie showed the Facebook, so she knew who mom was dating, I guess, and then mom started saying that she was dating somebody at that point. 
You know where he's from? Down here. When was this? Uh, when did this all go down? When, when did he, you find out about him? Weeks ago. Shit, months ago, maybe weeks ago. Who told you about him? Going through the text messages, mom's talking to this guy, mom's talking to Leo, John, uh, Junior, you know, all the guys mom's seen. Those were confirmed names that, I mean, or are you just throwing names out there? No, those are the names that got out of mom's phone and told me. Now, which ones are true or not? Oh, well, you think she's all, everything's Leo? Yeah. There's a John. Yeah. Who else? What else is it? Junior? The junior, yeah. What what those are the three that I remember, yeah. Did you figure out who Leo was? John? No. Just Junior? Yeah. Okay. I mean, Junior was the one that she opened up about. Yeah. What did she say about him? Uh, he's a contractor. You know, he's yeah. yeah, say he told him. You know, say he told him. Not to you. Mm -hmm. Oh, she opened up yeah, to yeah. you. You know where this guy lives or stays other than being here in Kenosha? Down in Kenosha, yeah. All right. You ever been down this way? Yeah, I've been to Kenosha. All right. For what? I don't know, all sorts of stuff. I mean, I've lived in Southeast Wisconsin most of my life, you know. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, what about in the past year? Been down here in the past year? Past three months? Past month? I don't know. Down this way? Um, Generally hanging out with my little brother, we travel around to different friends' places and play board games and shit like that. I don't know if we've ever made it all the way down to Kenosha, but. Right. So there's no reason why, like, your vehicle would have been picked up on a license plate reader or anything like that down this way. Or not that I know. Not that you know of, or yes or no? I don't know. I mean, other people borrow my cars too, man. I mean, shit. But uh, no, I didn't I know that. I'll never let someone borrow my car to go from Mequon to. Hey, you mind if I take your card on the Kenosha? Yeah, depends on what, no, where the jobs are, man. You know, working on houses and shit. So, is that what you guys do? Or is that what you yeah, do? Yeah. Are you a general contractor as well? Yeah, I help my little brother to use. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, what what type of work? Like house repair, roofing, like or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. renovation stuff. Everything? Yeah, general contractor. Right? So, have you guys had any jobs down here in the past couple months? Yeah, I mean, my little brother works everywhere, so I don't, I haven't personally uh, worked down here, so. Okay. Does your brother live with you? No. You just come and get your car sometimes? Well, if he, if his van is in the shop or whatever, we use a van. All right. What, what kind of van do you have? Uh, it's an old caravan. You know, approximate year? Mm, 2000s. Color black. Not sure. Yeah, it's like navy like blue or black. I don't. I don't drive it too much. You drive the other. Oh, okay. Um, you know the play on? Oh, okay. Mm. All right. What's your? So you mind if I call your brother and say, hey, have you had any jobs down here in the past couple months? Are you willing to give me your brother's information? Right now? Yeah. No. Okay. At this hour? No, fuck no. No, I'm not going to call him at this hour. Oh. But I need his information to call him. Oh. I'll call him tomorrow or something. No, no, I'll check with my brother. To see what the fuck's going on. All right. But as far as you know, you've never been down here in the past couple of months, but it's possible your brother used your car and may have been down this way. I mean, I don't get it. Depends where it's been jobs. Sure. Yeah, that's what I'm asking. I, what I know is, is that my cousin was saying, um, or his buddy was saying that, uh, He's driving like an hour for work or something like that. And so I was an hour down this way. Your cousin? My cousin was talking about my brother bitching that it was an hour away, right? So. Uh, when was the last time you used it? My van. Mm -hmm. Oh, usually when I get the kids, I use the van, you know, so throw the car since it's big enough for them. When's the last time your brother uses a car? Um, he's with a friend who take them every once. In the car? Not being like, what, the house, yeah, sometimes in the car. Yeah. Oh, so he has access to him from your house yeah. and do what he wants. Yeah, okay. so he was guys if they want. Like, if they need a van to move something or whatever for work, sure, they can grab a van. I got you. How many guys does he get employed with him? One. One full-time, anyway. You know, he asks for help from other guys. But... Who's the other guy? My cousin. 
What's his name? Alex. What's your brother's name? Saul. What is it? Saul. This is a kind circus presentation. Same last name? What's Alex's last name? Oh, he's married in. His mom's my dad's sister, so. I don't know if I ended up kidding him. Those are the two regular employees. So no, well, we just help Saul out when he gets the extra hands. You know, so he's just got some. Basically, those are the two people that may have had your car. Uh, yeah, I would expect so. If anybody used it, the rest of the people are just randoms. That no, I, the rest of the people. No, the people. Yeah, you said he was the one regular employee. Yeah. So he would just allow anyone to use this. So. It's open for that. He uses my shop too, you know, store stools there and that kind of shit. It's open for them for whatever purposes they need. Jet tool shop? Yeah, it's not in good shape, but I, yeah, nice. They, they throw a bunch of material in it, really. The rest of the, it's like a wing off the barn, and the rest of the barn's leaking, fucking everything. So. Um, have you ever followed her down here? No, never followed her down here. Um, when you dropped your phone, you said you dropped a phone or somehow the phone ended up in her car or something. Mm -hmm. She accused you of using it as a tracker. As, right. Okay, using it as a tracker. Yeah. Um, were you able to track your phone? I mean, were you able to go online or your cloud or I don't know, is it an iPhone? Is it a Samsung? I don't even know what. It no, it's a cricket. Uh, but no, I couldn't. I had to uh, call the carrier to figure out where the cell phone was last. And so when I called the carrier, they said it was in North Kenosha on uh, 5 8 or something like that. And I was like, okay, well, Kenosha, that's where Sadie's boyfriend lives. So when I, I called Sadie and she denied it, um, and I'm like, well, it would be awfully coincidental that the day I lose my cell phone, the carrier can verify that it went down to Kenosha. So it's got to be in your vehicle. So then she let me come over and look through her vehicle. And I'm like, I mean, come on. If it goes down to Kenosha, it's got to be here somewhere. In short, she stole it, and she wouldn't give it back to me unless I said that I was tracking her. And then I said, fine, I was tracking you, whatever. Can I have the phone back? She's like, finally, some truth. She gives me the phone back, and I'm like, I wasn't fucking tracking you. Thank you for the phone back. And then she got all shitty with me. She's like, oh, now you change your story because you get the phone back. You were all nice in the first place. And I'm like, yeah, because I wanted the fucking cell phone back, not because I was trying to track you, because if I was trying to track you, I put the fucking app on there like the carrier told me to do because they otherwise you got to call in for it, you know, and I'm like, you can call the carrier yourself and you can see. And when she gave me the cell phone back, I unlocked it for her so she could see it and make sure that there were no recordings and that there was no tracking shit on there. How long after the your phone went lost did you get it back? Monday, almost on Friday. I got back a little bit longer or something like that, yeah. Which... Well, you yeah. all know if you got a cloud app of some sort, you can go on there and just erase that. <laughs> right? I don't let's be on it. Well, let's be honest. I use a fucking flip phone most of the time. I didn't know that. I don't. Okay. I'm not saying you did that. I'm well, just saying. Well, I mean, and that's, I mean, I didn't. I could wipe my phone and show it. Hey, there's nothing on here. No, I, I didn't know. Okay. Well, you work for a phone company. Who'd you work for? AT&T. Through a cellular store or through a... Hardline or <laughs> no, I was a net network technical specialist that handled the national critical infrastructure between the United States and Japan. So okay. under C five router cable state. Okay. Right. Oh, okay. So you want nothing to do with that. Right. 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 Okay. Gotcha. Um all right. Can you just give a couple minutes? We'll be right back. Can you need some more water or anything? Um yeah, I'll take some more water then. All right, we'll be right back. I'm saying, guys, for whatever I did go chase about Sadie, man, I'm not stalking her. You know, I mean, it's fine. She's got a right to go her own direction. You know, I seen that she's got a boyfriend, not just pre pretending we're going to get back together so she can get shit out of me. Um, I don't know what the fuck's going on with her behavior, but I really can't account for her. Really, you know, I can't account for her shit. As far as our daughter goes, our daughter looks to protect her, her mom, and me. I well, know, like I said, I man, if believe. she's talking, listen. She's talking shit about you the whole time. I get it. Okay. No, I, she, but she wasn't. She she talked you up. She started out talking you up. And and a few things she blurted out didn't make you look good. And and these aren't things that are like, 
and I'm just going to throw this out there and, and fuck with the detective. I mean, this is this is shit that a 13 year old girl isn't going to make up off the top of her head. 12, and she does make up some shit off the top of her head. Oh man, I don't know. I don't think so. I appreciate your skepticism because honestly, I felt that way too. Really wanted to take her at face value because she tell half. Oh, that's a little bit. That's different dude. to lie about that. I get it. No, she lies for her mom's sake. She lies for my sake, trying to play some game too. It's not. I understand you talk to her, but so so she might play games back and forth with you guys. That's what yeah, a normal yeah. kid does, man. That's yeah, what they're yeah. gonna do to to game one up on parents. Yeah, get yeah. it. But when you're sitting in a room with a police officer, mom wasn't in here, man. It was just me. Right, right. Mano y mano, one on one. Just tell me what's going on. You're stuck in the middle. You're in a shitty spot. It is. It sucks yeah. to be a kid in this spot, right? Just tell me the truth, right? Something's funny when boys are in the car and she's saying that they're not because they shouldn't have been. Or... No, she even went as far as to say that the boys, she got home a little bit less of pants. And, and I mean, why is she, why is she making this stuff up? Like, well, what, why is she going that far to make things up? One of them did mess their pants that night, that's true. But... Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't think this is something she's going to get confused about, man. And, and well, I don't think it's something I'm going to get confused about. So I hear what you're well, saying, but something's yeah, not bad enough. You want her to make yourself look better. I get it. Or to make herself look better. I don't know. She had no advantage. There was no advantage to her telling me this. There was nothing that she had been. There was no... There's no advantage to her she, lying about stealing she's herself, by herself, too, but she still does. And it's like, well, it's what she perceives she thinks is, you know, but she admits that to us. Like she doesn't like deny it. Yeah. You know, she talks about what she did. Like, yeah, here's what I did and to us. Obviously, yeah. let's be honest. I mean, the kids, they're going to lie to her parents. It is what it is. Maybe it's because of, she, she lies to the school. You know, she lied to the cops. Okay. She lied to fucking everybody, man. I, I like your guys' faith in her. That's great. But when she's in trouble. Oh, no, even when she's not in trouble. Look, you guys haven't been with this shit the last two weeks, but I'm just telling you, it's been a circus trying to sort what's true and what's not out of my daughter's mouth the last couple of weeks. And for something like that, it, I think it really comes down to what she perceives is right, culpable or whatever. I don't think, I, I know I like to have faith in what my daughter said, but, you know, this whole thing, like, I wanted her to believe it. It was like her friend that was snitching around. I'm like, no, not my little girl, right? But there were other things, even like once she was busted out, turning all that stuff over to the cops and be like, here's the evidence. She would withhold the evidence too, and we catch her with more. Like, what the fuck are you doing, man? You know, and on and on. And so, no, because she, there's like an angle to it. There's a reason to it. And if she thinks the boys could get in trouble, or you know, I don't know what's running through her head. She might do say something goofy, but I don't know. But I guess what we're getting at is that she wasn't. It's not like she's sit, she's sitting here with her mom. She's not sitting here with her dad. So she's she's being essentially neutral in all this. Like, yeah. Dad's doing this, but he's great. Mom's doing this, but she's great. She's not like saying everything that, hey, you're the best and mom's bad, or mom's the best and, and you're bad. She's not doing that. You know, yeah. she's kind of even keel on everything. She's she's not no, maybe. she's not trying to get one person over I'm, the other. I mean, I, I'm hearing what you guys are trying to sell me, but I, I just don't. Well, After what, and I wasn't there to see it. You exactly. know, but, I'm not trying to sell you anything. I'm just telling you how to hit. I'm not trying to sell you something here. Well, you're trying okay. to sell me the notion that my daughter was honest about whatever. I think she was because she started out with the trick in your side. She's on your side this whole time. Sadie says that. She says that. And you know that. She, she, was, pick, she was picking you, man. You guys are tight. You guys are very tight. Are you not? Are you not tight with your daughter? I love my daughter very much and she loves me, but she it's straight faced lied to me repeatedly. It's obvious. And that's know, obvious by so talking to her. So why would she lie about the boys? I don't know. I don't think she was lying to me. I mean, we can go around this fucking, you know, we can go around the block all you want, but it, you know, sure. at the end of the day, I, I'm pretty suspicious of what my daughter says. If you're not, that's up to you, you know? So, um, what, what other questions do you have for me though, guys? I'm fucking tired. What do you want from me? Just the truth that's about it. everything. And right, right. I mean, that, that's kind of what we want. We want to find out. We kind of went over the stories and you kind of gave us your reasoning behind the stories, whether they were true or false or whatever. I mean, you know, so our main you, thing is, is to try and find that happy medium in all this. Yeah, yeah. And so say, you know, after I was arrested on, on Christmas or whatever, say you put down for a restraining order and shit. And so we go to court 
And she writes a bunch of stories, like she's been trying to keep a catalog over the last 12 years about what a piece of shit I am. Yeah, we're going to her. Um, well, no, because we get in front of the judge and she tells the judge, like one of the stories in there, I'm going through the stories, and I'm like, holy shit, right? Like just lie after lie, exaggeration after exaggeration. But she tells the judge, she tries to convey to the court that like um, there was an instance where I insisted that we have sex. We were fooling around, I insisted we have sex, and then we didn't because she didn't want to, and then I threatened to go fuck somebody else. But the reality of that story was essentially this. We were fooling around. She didn't want to. She got upset, embarrassed, or whatever. And she said, if you want somebody that can fuck at the drop of a dime, you're going to need to go find somebody else. And I was like, what the fuck just came out of your mouth? And that's just an example of the twist she takes things and the exaggeration she makes of things. So, you know, as far as her stories or what's going on, I'm not hacking her cell phone. I'm not hacking her email. I'm not hacking her shit. I'm not stalking her. There's some things that I check. I would love to catch her, you know, getting high with her boyfriend just so I could say to the court, I deserve custody of my kids because this is how she spends three days a week. My kids shouldn't be taken to the bar. Is that what you've been trying to do? That's all I've been looking for, man, is just to validate that. Once I found out that she was fooling around with somebody else because of what we saw through those win- through the windows, when I did go to her place, which I did do, it would be nice to verify it. And the only reason that I even came up to that was talking to a counselor who said, it sounds to me like she's moved into hard, hard narcotics. It sounds to me that the way that she's behaving is I got a, I got a woman who's been a good mom and a caring mom for most of her life so far. And then suddenly in the last six months, it's like a wicked shift to everything I say or do is somehow I'm the big bad guy. And then our daughter's in the middle of this like a fucking pawn. And it's just a bloody mess. You know, I mean, I just don't even know what to make of it when. You know, she's got stories and she's got spins on all sorts of bullshit that because I worked at at and I can hack your cell phone. I like it. That's ludicrous. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Right. Um, and that's just kind of the, and there were other things in there. And then when I told the judge, he's like, well, like, it's just the reality. You think I would have, you think that woman would have stayed with me if I basically raped her, like forced her to have sex with me? That's not the way it went, judge. We stayed together for 12 years. It was good, great at times. It was bad at times, but. You know, in the end, call marriage. Yeah, well, I mean, I cheated on her, you know, poison the relationship. So, you know, no going back. I mean, even if people start a rumor, um, it doesn't matter. You know, some girl said to me at a party um, that I could do something sexually to her or whatever. Oh, man, her friend overheard it or whatever, took it back to Sadie, and she just kept on with this shit. And I'm like, I'm not. That was my friend's day. Like, this is fucking ridiculous, you know? Like, all these accusations, it's not the case. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. All right. So, listen, this is what, this is her accusations, and and I'm going to go through them again. Okay? Sure. You, you, you followed her, went to this, her house, looked through the windows. You confirmed that. Okay? And confirmed that because she was with you. Sure. Okay. Right? Um, you get a cell phone to to record her when she gets mad. She abuses the kids, yeah. Okay. Have you ever reported that? I went to an attorney and I asked the attorney, and they said that they have to go through the process establishing uh, parent, fatherhood, you know, paternal, um, whatever that ruling is with the court. Parental rights. That's it. You confirm that, right? Yeah. You accidentally dropped your cell phone in her car, underneath the car seat. Or, uh, I'm not sure which, but yes. And and just so happened that same day. Underneath the car seat, is that what you said? Yeah, you're in Kenosha again. Text messages to her cell phone that we had. We had the old string. Good, right? but that's not how I knew she was in Kenosha. How I knew she was in Kenosha is because when she dropped off the kids, she was taking a flower for the, her brother's pond down there. And she hid her nice jacket in the back. And when we were looking for the sweatshirts in the car, I saw the nice uh, jacket in the back. It said, and I said, that's probably because she's going out. Mm-hmm. That's it. Don't want to see your boyfriend. Right? Are you upset with that? I mean, this thing's a little bit, but, you know, ultimately, I'm not, I can't unpoison the relationship. You know, can't uncheat on her. Is there any jealousy going on? Yeah, a bit, you know, a bit. Are you expressing that? Yeah, at times, you know, I, I tell her because she's jealous too, you know. I said the jealousy for us doesn't allow us to be friends, doesn't allow us to have a calm conversation. You know, if I 
Um, even like yesterday when I was talking to her or whatever, I, she said, um, I sent you an email, right? I said, oh, okay, cool. You know, I'll check it when I get home. She's like, of course you're not home. I'm like, oh, geez. You know? So you dropped your cell phone. Yeah, I dropped the cell phone. I didn't and place you it. find her in Kenosha? I just knew she went to Kenosha. Okay. She confirms that. Olivia confirms that. So you follow me, man? These sequence of events. <laughs> She's saying that you're following her. Yeah, she says a lot of shit, you know. And that you're having conversations about following her. You're, yeah. you're, you're, you're looking through her boyfriend's stuff on Facebook, right? I looked him up, yeah. Mm-hmm. Are you, you looking him up criminally? Yeah, I see Captain, see what's going on. Okay. Um, you're doing all these things, right? I did some things, yeah. Everything that she's told us, you've done. I don't know that that's true at all. Well, it's happened. The thing she's claiming happened, right? Maybe not the, yeah, but way, I mean, not the way they say it happened. Yeah, yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. I mean, just, look, I'm not trying to call you gullible, but she says that she went to her brother's house and she found the cell phone, right? Now, I call the carrier, and the carrier says the cell phone ends up down in Kenosha, but she says that she literally drove, like, two miles away to her brother's house and found the cell phone, yet left the cell phone on and took it to Kenosha. So you tell me, guys, what fucking adds up? That's what she told us. Well, that's what she told me, but, she you know, well, well, listen, 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 tell you that, though, stop, I mean, stop, that's stop. what I'm saying, no, no, listen, it, I'm, I'm saying, though, why, why would she, why would she tell you the truth versus telling us the truth, I mean, you guys obviously have a rocky thing, she's suspecting that you're doing this, you know, following her, doing this, why is she going to be honest with you? I don't know what she's okay. telling you for the stalking accusations here, guys, but I'm just telling you something doesn't add up in that story specifically, because if I call the carrier and the carrier says the cell phone goes down to fucking Kenosha, right? Well, then, if she says she found the cell phone at her brother's house, which is by my house, then why the fuck did you drive all the way to Kenosha before you shut it off? How do you know that she found it before she went to Kenosha? So she told me. Okay. Well, yeah, then that wouldn't make sense. Otherwise, right, otherwise right. So, I, I mean, I hear you. Go. Okay, you guys got a story, but I'm telling you, all her stories but are that's bullshit. That's why like we're getting your side. Now, we didn't get that before. Now you're telling us, hey, oh, there's more well, to I'm this. just saying that's that what we're trying to figure out. way down here to ask me about fucking stealing a cell phone or whatever the shit. And then she wouldn't give it back before I said, fine, I took it to track you, which is bullshit. I just want to get the damn cell phone back because, mind you, I took the fucking cell phone and I, ca- I took a video of... The police to because Snapchat like you have to save the messages and shit and I'm just like holy fuck I lost the cell phone and I don't know what to do and if you go through her text messages you'll probably see that that text messenger or I call her I'm gonna call her about that because if you lose a fucking phone that's got or whatever don't fucking kill yourself man I'm like holy shit that makes you sick you know but it was just her that took it but to be fair in the first place I thought she stole it like, I thought she went in the house and took it. But then I was like, no, I was outside cleaning the van with it in my pocket. So she didn't take it from me. So I must have dropped it. And to be fair, maybe I didn't drop it in the truck. Maybe I just dropped it outside the truck and she picked it up, you know? But something fucking happened there. Something happened there where she kept it on until she went to Kenosha. And then she bragged that, oh, she found it right away at her brother's house. So you tell me. So now you went with her house. Went yeah. through the window. Let's get back to that. Sure. Did you take anything? No. Did you go into any vehicles in that first? No, 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 I got those accusations too. No, no, you went, in his, you went in his truck and you took some shit. No, the fuck I didn't. And then he wanted to kill me about it or what he was going to beat me up or whatever. And I said, I didn't fucking take your shit. I didn't take your shit. Spare me the accusations. There's nothing in your house that's his? No. Nothing. There's nothing in my house that's his, man. Nothing in your house? Nothing in my house that's his. I'm telling you, nothing. I wrote down this information off a of CCAP. Where's that? I don't know. I think I threw it away at this point. Clean all my shit up. What about his registration card for his truck? I have his registration card for his truck. I heard that bullshit story too. Same bullshit out of Sadie. You took it. No, fuck, I didn't. Well, how would Sadie get this information? Like, how, how would Sadie know that you allegedly, why, why would she say to you, you took his registration? I don't know what the fuck he did with his registration or what they what the stories are or oh, Zach must have done it. Zach does everything. I have no fucking idea, man. Anyway, have seen the paper at your house? This is a crime circus presentation. No, his information, I wrote it down, you know, when I looked him up, but outside of that, no. 
Is the one that got that information from Jeannie. Of his address and everything? His name, yeah, yeah. yeah. She's friends with him as Junior on as whatever the fuck is it, it is on Facebook, and that's how I, you know, figured it out. But it actually, well, was it Facebook? No, uh, no. Oh, Jeannie does. Oh, right. Okay. Right. I thought you were talking. So yeah, said he was talking to Grandma about it, and then Grandma shared that information. He came back and gave me his whole name. You know. And the address? No, I just looked his information. I'll see Captain. Do you do you ask? You're like, hey, what do you know? What's this guy's name? You no. ask her. No, she, she came back. She like, volunteers hey, that. that number. Yeah, number. Jeannie told me that he's a contractor, you know, and whatever. And I was like, all right, that's fine. You know, that's fine. My dad does something similar to right now. I work part time at MATC and I help out Saul. So, what's his address? Uh, I don't remember it offhand. You know where it is in Kenosha? Not offhand. You ever been by his place? Go down by his place? Dude, really? You keep asking me. I keep telling you. What else you got? But there's cameras everywhere, dude. So not everywhere. Right. Everybody's got ring doorbells now. Everybody's yeah, got yeah, yeah. cameras that are that are popping on these streets, right? right. Good, good. We know that. We know that. Mm -hmm. To save us a bunch of time, just tell us the truth, because. When we go pull cameras and, and your vehicle comes up driving past somewhere or in the area, right, right, then that then that doesn't look good for you, right? Yeah, I, however it's going to look, I just want to look out for the well-being of my kids. I don't know what you're getting at, um, stalking. I don't don't really know what the laws or the rules are there. I've taken an interest and I've gone and I've looked at some things just to get a bit of truth for myself. I'm mm -hmm. seeing somebody else. She's got the right to see somebody else. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to make a big fucking deal out of it. Well, you were, to be stealing you were, man. You were making a big deal. You were, you were checking things out. You know, I, I mean, based on what you're telling me today, you were checking things out. You yeah. were watching out. Look, there were a couple of occasions when I went to verify it, but making it this thing like I'm stalking her, I'm tracking her, I fucking hacked her cell phone or whatever, take a goddamn mic. I didn't, okay? I mean, I hear what you're saying, but it's bullshit. It's bullshit. Well, in, in the statute book, man, a couple times it's stalking. I don't know what it is, but once I verified some information, you... Once you know, then you can fucking know, okay? I mean, if she didn't play games about it, then I would have known right away. There wouldn't have been anything to go check. But I didn't fucking track her on the cell phone. I dropped the cell phone. And this accusation that I even dropped it in the truck was really her stipulation, because I don't even think I fucking dropped it in the truck. My only thought was that if I did, if I did, it was when I leaned in to get the hooded sweatshirts, the boys' sweatshirts out of the middle console. I don't even know if that's the case. I don't. Again, that's her version of shit. And I don't know. Because again, she didn't, her account was she took that shit down to fucking Kenosha before she shut it off. Well, if you thought I was tracking you, why would you take it to Kenosha anyway? Something she had a different happen. account for us. She had a different account for us. Well, I don't know her fucking account. It's just that's she, what she that found was. the phone after a text message you sent her about being in Kenosha. And she's like, oh shit. No, she was going to fucking Kenosha because she was all dolled up and happy and excited. And she always calls me Zachariah when she's excited. But because of the way she behaved and she spilled some of the water from the plant that she was taking over to her brother's house on her and she was bitching about it. I'm like, well, all dressed up for going out on a Friday night. You're going down to Kenosha. Not because I had a fucking tracker to figure it out. And then why would I wait three days before calling the carrier to fucking verify? And if you ask, I spent the fucking weekend looking for the damn phone. So still, I know, I hear Sadie spin. You guys are soaked in it. That's great, but please. Unfortunately, Sadie spin is matching up with spin. And, and oh. we talk to them separately, and things are matching up with what they have to say. Yeah, yeah. Now, I don't know if they sat and planned this out for three days, but what they're going to come talk to you about, or talk about you about. So, but, man, it's damn near impossible because you know what? We're going to trip them up. And they didn't trip up. Bullshit. So this, this not, weekend, bullshit, bullshit man. Yeah, bullshit, because this weekend, my daughter, she comes to me and she says, hey, dad, do you know how to hack a phone? And I go, no. She's like, well, you worked at the phone company. Yeah, I worked at the phone company, but you don't know how to hack a phone. No, babe, I have no idea how to hack a phone or whatever the fuck. No, no shit. Today, last night or this morning or whatever, Sadie's bullshit. You hacked all my stuff last night because I called her and I said, what are you telling our daughter? You're putting some ideas in our daughter's head about me hacking your shit just because I used to work for the phone company? 
So whatever's getting conveyed there, I don't fucking know. But there's all sorts of these bullshit stories going on. And no, like I said, you might catch a half truth, but I mean, what's the real truth? We don't know. So we're trying to figure out. Brought your daughter. Listen, man, you brought your daughter out in the middle of the night. Brought her up to the window to look at her mother with another dude. I didn't know it was another dude. Come on, you just said it. Some other dude's cars in the yard. Yeah, because I knew after the fact, not because I knew in the first place. The reason you went there is because there was another dude. No, the reason I went there is because something was going on. My, to be you said honest, a premonition that there was a, that she was with some other guy. No, that's what you said. You just said that about ten minutes ago. I had I had a premonition that something was up that night. That she was with another guy. I honestly expected yeah. it was going to be her friend from high school over there getting fucked up doing drugs. But no, it was another guy. And no, I wasn't sure. I just knew something was up. Right? Why would you bring your daughter to look through the window, dude? Because I couldn't leave them home. She could have sat in a car. She just wanted to go look too. She stayed in the car initially. Oh, but to be honest, man, I nor her would have ever expected mom to be in that position with some dude, okay? Because I wouldn't fucking expect it. Well, you didn't expect it when you went over there. No, that's not true. I mean, you want me to assume that the worst for her, but no, she's actually been a good mom for the most part. It's been a good relationship for the most part, and she's not been promiscuous. She's been very loyal. To see another car in the driveway, and if she started doing coke with her friends, is not in that circle of friends to know whose Colorado plates those are, right? I mean, when I pulled in, that's what my headlights were looking at. Colorado plates. What the fuck is that? Somebody's in from out of town. I didn't expect she was fucking somebody else. And honestly, she said she didn't. I don't know that I believe her, <laughs> but, you know, ultimately, it doesn't matter. It, you know, it, it really doesn't matter at this point because this back and forth shit, do you still care, don't you still care, whatever, we should see other people. It's, there's not a sentence that can be said in a relationship that isn't some, everything's my fucking fault. So whatever. Well, I think it goes both ways. I mean, I mean we're in the middle, unfortunately. Well, mom's feeding her this information. Dad's feeding her this information. She is in the middle. No. Nah. Like, so she's used as that bond. She's not in the middle. She gathers information, man. She sits outside the fucking open doors and windows. She'll go up to the closed door and listen and shit. Like, she pulls information. And she, you know? Sure. And that's where I even got tipped off about shit or whatever and suspicious. Now, going and verifying the information, whatever rules I broke to verify the information, isn't because it came from nowhere. I believe that there's some truth to what my daughter was reading, you know? No, I'm not telling some other dude that she loves him. We been we get in big fights from time to time or whatever. We need a month away. We need a month and a half away. You know, like there's just moments. You Were know? you guys ever married? No. Oh, okay. You know, no. But so there was no like legal separation or things like that. It was just kind of a soft breakup. You need she needed space, you need space, but you guys still kind of shit. After she had me arrested on Christmas Eve, we went to court like two weeks later, you know. And uh, the judge asked her pointedly, you know, are you guys still together? And she had to say no. So, no, there wasn't like a breakup. It was like retroactively two weeks ago, we were not together at the time that we got an argument and separated. So, no, it's always been kind of a blur or in the middle, you know. It's always been open to other relationships and space when we need it. It hasn't been a thing where... Um, it hasn't been a thing where there, it's consistent, I guess, you know? I mean, like I told you, when I worked for at and I worked for, my last year was out on the coast of California. I wasn't here. I traveled back and see her. For the two years before that, two and a half years before that, I was up in Hudson, Wisconsin. I wasn't here. You know? It's not, this isn't new, you know? I mean, the only thing that was new is her pretending like we were going to get back together when really not. The only thing that was really new was she's now slapping across the face and fighting with her, you know, and hitting the kids. And that... I've got recordings on, you know, like what the fuck is going on? And arguments with her, it just makes no sense the shit that's coming out of her mouth, you know? Um, and whether you think she's telling the truth or not, wherever the fuck I dropped the phone outside the truck, inside the truck, whatever the fuck, you can think whatever you want. At the end of the day, if she knew what she claims to have known, found it under the seat, drove all the fucking way down to Kenosha before she shuts it off. What does that tell you? Bullshit. Just bullshit. No, I can't hack a cell phone. It's bullshit. Just more bullshit. Everything that goes wrong in the world is not my fucking fault. Sure. I'm sorry. It's just not. You know, that's that's on her to try to account for, but 
the best she can do is point the finger at me, and I have no fucking idea, so. You know. It's going both ways. I mean, you're pointing finger at her, she's pointing finger at you. Well, I guess that's why I can go sometimes, I suppose. And the one in the middle. My daughter. We're not supposed to believe. Well, she got a fucked up version, too. I mean, you know, when we went to court for the. Yeah, well, no, we went to Oh, well, hear me out, man. I mean, you, I see you're quick to cut me off, but the truth is, it's like, even when we went to court, you know, after the, after the, now, mind you, my daughter was not there. Mom swung the broom at my face. She shoved me into the door four times. All sorts of bullshit, right? We show up at court. My daughter can't even talk to me. She won't look at me. She hates my guts because of whatever the fuck mom told her, you know? I mean, I, I hear you. That's but, all she was, but, she wasn't like that today, man. I'm telling you, she wasn't like that today. She took your side. By and large, yeah. But and had had she wanted to throw you under the bus, she wanted to throw your side. I don't. She, she's not going to call you good dad. Look, she's not going to say, "Hey, we're we're awesome together," and then tell me this shit about you that of what you did. Yeah, it fucking says you. I know my daughter, and she does that shit, man. And it's frustrating for me as a dad. I hear you. I like that you have faith. I do too, by and large. But it's not true. It's not true. Okay. She does now. Whether she was telling the truth today or whatever the fuck happened. No, I'm, I can guarantee you there was some embellishment there. She does that shit. Try to spare the wrath or whatever. She does that shit. And I don't really know what she asked her. I don't know what. I wasn't there for it. But, you know, I'm pretty good at calling her out on it. And she usually doesn't want dad around for those reasons. Even when we talked to the police in Germantown, she's like, no, I don't want dad there. You know, had to go into the room with mom. I'm like, all right, you know, told so you just, well, you know, dad sniffs that shit out a lot better than mom does, right? I mean, well, yeah, right. and if I was in there, I probably would have caught her. I mean, come on. How many times did you see this dude she was with? Sadie? Once at, uh, once at her place, ever. That's it? Otherwise, uh, she would go down to visit him. Was he ever, ever up at the house other than that, that one time? I only saw him one time alone. Again, you think I'm over there stalking every night? I'm not. I got a, I got a buddy that lives two houses down. And he said, hey, are you over there? Because I see another vehicle in the driveway. No, I'm not. Or whatever. Somebody else, a friend's visiting. I don't fucking know. But no. Is a friend down the road? Steve. Where is he? Which way? He's, uh, she lives on an angled street, so he's northwest. Does she know who he is? Does no, no, does Sadie know your buddy? Yeah. No. Oh. Yeah, yeah, they're neighbors. No. Mutual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you ever tell him, like, dude, if you ever see any cars, let me know? You never said, like, nothing like that to him? No. All right. I'm going to grab some coffee. Do you need any more water? I'm all right on water. I got to have a bus. Give me a minute and talk to him real quick. I'm going to grab that, right? Yeah, how, what time is it, man? I mean, I'm tired. Me too. 11.50. 7. So... Just give me a second. Right, right. right. I don't know if this shit gonna take, you know. You got, you got a few properties, huh? Mm-hmm. Rentals? Where are they all at? North Milwaukee. Brown Deer area? Mm-hmm. How many you got? So, uh, technically, one, but Sadie's old place, it's not taken out of her name at the moment, but it bought it out of the sheriff's name because she bought it through her mom passed away. She had this inheritance and she got it. And she sent her right to a. Sure. You know, take it from. Sure. Yeah. What's that address? For which one? The one in the background here you're talking uh, about. Sadie's? Yeah, 50. I don't know. Is it cool? Is that considered Milwaukee? It's Brown Deer, um, Milwaukee County, but not. Right. Yeah. Any other property you want right now? One of her brother's days. Where's that? It's, um, it's on Port Ave. It's uh, in Milwaukee. It's, um, What's her brother's name? TJ. Tijana. Tijana. Tijana? TJ. That's what he goes by. TJ. Okay. Is that he's currently living there right now? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, he's currently living. What about the one in Brown Deer? Anybody living there? Yeah. yeah. Who's your tenants? Jason. Yeah. You know all the properties? Mm-hmm. Where are you contemplating moving to? You said earlier you're going to move. Down to West Dallas. What do you got lined up there? 
a uh, room name, you know, just rip the room down there, try and clean clean out the house and fix up the house and move it out. So whose is it? The house. In my one? Yeah. Mine. Well, the house you're gonna move into. Or you're paying to rent it. It's just a buddy of mine's, you know, we got a spare room. Okay. So what's your name? Can I ask? Andrew. What's my name? Shit, we haven't been friends that long. The last name is, um, he just broke up with this girl. <laughs> he asked me if I wanted to cover the other half, and I said that might work. Um, <sighs> oh, I don't know. Mm-hmm. You know the address there? Um, no, I got it written down at home, actually. Um, because I'm not moving in until his now ex girlfriend moves out. So, okay. So let's talk about Sunday, man. Explain your day to me on Sunday. Uh, I don't know. I had the kids. Yeah, I think I had the kids all day Sunday. Hmm. Yeah, Cleaning up the house. I think we set up, it was rainy day. I think we set up uh, TV and couch and everything like that downstairs so we could hang out and watch cartoons and movies and shit. So. All of them are at your house? Hmm? All three. Mm-hmm. So what time? So Sadie picked them up in the evening, I guess. What time did she come? I don't remember, dude. Was it like late in the afternoon? Yeah, generally, I don't I don't remember all okay, the Did you do anything that night? I think I I don't took a nap probably. Maybe went over to my girlfriend's house somewhere, I'm not sure. Mm, was she there tonight, your girlfriend? Yeah. What's her name? Christine. I haven't, I haven't talked to you guys yet. Christine? Christine. What's Christine's last name? Man? Rensburg. Rensburg. She's R E M R Rensburg. Rensburg. She a little girl up there? Yep. How old is she? Your age or she's a little younger, younger than me. A little younger? Okay. All right. So you said maybe one over there? Do you know for sure what you did? I mean it was what, two days? One day ago? Two days ago. Not yesterday. I'm guessing I went over there. I don't remember exactly. I'm guessing I went over there um, Sunday night. Did you spend the night there? I don't want to ask her anything. Um, well, I'm asking you. These are important questions, man. I don't remember if I spent the night there. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, depending on my first two nights ago. Time. You don't remember what you did two nights ago? You spent the night? No, did you drink or do any drugs? No. No. No, I don't remember if I st- stayed the whole night or not. I mean, is it common for you to stay all night, or is it common for you to leave at four or more? Depends if her sister's home. If her sister's home, sometimes she's up late watching TV, so I'll get up and I'll get home. What's your sister's name? Is well, her sister's name is Ka- Cassie. This is a crime circus presentation. And she lives up there in Mecklenburg. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they both do. They got an apartment not too far away from me. So if Cassie's there, you're not? No, I'm there a lot when she is, but sometimes Cassie stays up late watching TV, and if that's going to keep me up, I'll get up and go home. Okay. Do you remember what you did last night? I was over by her for a bit. I did some running around. Um... No, I left for a bit and I came back. One time my buddy saw us forever, but she was in for me. Where's that? I'm in Milwaukee. Can you give me his name? Oh, uh, Jason. Jason. Jay. So you know Jay? Yeah. Yeah, that's all I know. I don't remember his last name. Is his number in here, Paul? Under Jason? Um, no. Under J? Probably not. What else would it be under? I know, all sorts of shit. I know all sorts of little abbreviations for people's names on the phone. Does it start with a J? His name does hit him in the phone. <laughs> what about the contact? Does it start with a J? Does he have a nickname? A bunch of them. Like what? What are they? Korean Jesus? I don't know. Would it be Korean Jesus? 
I mean, it's a buddy, right? Your buddy that you hang out with, man. Yeah. You don't know what his contacts are. When you go to call Jason, what do you do on, on your phone? Uh, shop or something like that. Shop. I don't know. Okay. It'll be something like shop. Yeah. All right. That helps. Yeah. He's my buddy, man. I look for Vinny when I call him. Okay, he's more of an acquaintance. I mean, you know, I mean, asking for some help with some shit, you know, working on a friend's roof and that kind of stuff. So, so what call else him a friend do? if that's all. What else not, did you do last night, man? Slept. I don't know. What, what did we do last night? We I don't watched know. The, we watched a movie. We, I know. I remember. Oh, that. Uh, the. Um, no, did we watch that this morning? Yeah, we watched that this morning. We watched. Uh, Oh, it's got Johnny Depp in it, man. Uh, old school gangster movie. He plays Danger, John Danger. That was this morning. And then... Who was we? My girl and I. Okay. All right. So that was this morning. So did you wake up so, or something? Yeah, but did I go over last night or did I come over in the morning is the question. All right, now we're talking like eight hours, ten hours ago, man. Then I'm tired as fuck, man, and you're asking me, and I'm trying to not blur the days because sometimes... You know, I'll come over at like two in the morning or some shit, or four in the morning or some shit. It just depends. Um, but last night did I sleep over by her? Yeah, because I, yeah, because I came back after I went and talked to Jay. So yeah, I slept there last night, the night before that. Sunday. I think I just called her. And sat on the phone. If I'm not mistaken. I think that was Sunday night. I sat on the phone. I don't know. You remember everything in detail for the last four months, dude. No, I don't. Two nights ago, that is it's a mystery. No, that's bullshit. I just told you I didn't know if I had my cell phone out for the light or not when I went and saw a Sadie at her house. Everything in detail. No, I don't remember everything. I remember some things. I remember the gist of things more than anything. I'm not a detailed guy. A little brother, on the other hand, he can fucking recite song lyrics and tell you where bands are from and where they play and all that shit. I'm not, I don't have that, you know. Oh, I mean, he tells us from the last time he was in Kenosha. Sure, yeah. Um, I don't have an eidetic memory, man. I don't, and I'm tired as well. So I kind of got to organize things. I got to write things down, you know, keep a little journal and shit. And I do write that, I write that out, you know. This is what happened today. This is the nice bullshit Where's that? story. It's on, it's on my computer. How many computers you got? A um, couple. Couple of broken ones sitting there. It's one I've talked. Which ones do you use? Which one do you use? Depends on what I'm doing, I suppose. Which one do you use when you write your journal? Um, why? Just learn. I'm sure there's a lot of stuff in there about. Yeah, one of them. I mean, you want a copy of the journal? Oh, we're gonna see the journal. It's just making it easier on us. Oh. Why are you going to see the journal? It's pertaining to this case. Stalking? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Your internet searches. Okay. Uh, now you have a journal where you're documenting everything you do. I don't know about everything I do, but I document some stuff in regards to the well being of my kids and fighting for cars. Perfect, man. That should help you. What computer is it? The Apple notebook, iPad, anything like that. Look, I don't know the laws on being a stalker or not being a stalker. I've taken a look. I don't know how the fuck you'd be going for my journal and my computer. I'd be happy to show you. I'd be happy to send them to you or whatever, but we're going to see them anyway. I don't know what's going on right now. I want to know where you were Sunday night. I just told you. Well, you think you told me. I think I told you. Okay. No, there's a big difference. I'm not sure what you're getting at. But what I can tell you is, I don't know what you guys are doing. I'm tired as fuck. Either take me home or give me a lawyer. Because I'm not really, what you're doing is really odd. It's almost like a threat about the computer, and that's peculiar to me. We're not threatening. The case is involving stalking. She's alleging that you've been tracking her, you're chasing her with electronic devices and things like that. I don't think so I crossed any line. Yeah, I did it, but I don't think I crossed any line. 
Well, that's what he's saying. Like we're going to get that information from those devices. All right, we'll do my Google searches or whatever you guys got to do. But something's. I don't know. Like I said, if you're going to threaten me about keeping a journal, Dude, I, ain't fuck I, was. I ain't threatening. You're just telling me you have a journal in everything you do. So that no, I didn't say everything I do. You. I didn't say everything I do. Okay. Well, so I mean, like, you, you want to twist words too, like Sadie, man? I don't want the fuck that it's going to do us. We're trying to have a conversation about stuff. I'm trying to tell you how things go, but I don't know what you're doing over there. It's weird. Well, yeah, I keep all he's saying is that we're going to we'll look to the journal. Okay. No, yeah, but I'll be happy to share too. How many steps I take? I don't think he's the journal or shit like that too. But I, I also know two nights ago. Fuck the journal at my place. Li- literally called custody for my kids' well-being. I mean, what the fuck? Okay, so that's what we're asking. But what, what computer or electronic device that is it on? Dude, give me a lawyer. Take me home. You pick. This is crazy. This is fucking nuts. All right, we're done. We can't talk to you no more. I didn't do shit. I don't know what you want from me. This is crazy. I don't think I crossed any fucking lines. All right. Um, so what's going to happen is the officer's going to take you over across the street. Um, jail, you'll have... Well, what time is it? After midnight. Um, within 40 hours, you'll have a preliminary hearing. For, for what? Stalking. So... I can't guarantee 48 you hours? What the fuck within 48 hours, I said. It could be tomorrow at 1 o'clock, or else it'll be Tuesday at 1 o'clock. I don't know the exact time. Are you fucking tomorrow kidding morning, me? We will have a meeting with our district attorney office. I didn't do shit to her. What are you talking so about? That's what's happening tonight. So if we can't talk about it anymore, you have requested an attorney. So that that's what's going to happen tonight. I just want to make you aware of that. This is fucking bananas, you guys. All right. For stalking? Get the fuck out of here. Yep, that's the... Uh, the charge. <laughs> come on now. Really? Yep. 48 so hours. a minute, I'll get the officers to come in here, and then they'll we'll get you out of here like you requested. All right? Yeah. What the fuck? All right, Zach, come on this way. We're going to walk right over to the, this room over here. Yeah, right. And then the officers will be.